you know what? I feel like I need to suffer some more. So let's do let's do some suffering. By which I mean go to Manga Panda and <laughs> and read some random thing that's probably going to kill me a little bit on the inside. Surprise me. Let's we got close up. Uh, I don't know what this is. It doesn't have it doesn't have a synopsis. But let's read the first chapter. It's got thirty uh five pages. And it's it's close up, but it's not as close up as it could be. That's a little more close up. Good job on getting closer. <laughs> okay. No, re the photos you see, and the photos you s wait. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me start again. The photos you see, and the photos you see on the screen, y you see where I was confused there, <laughs> are all connected to each other. That is why you can see them. Uh, make make sense, I guess. You see the different emotions in those pictures. Then why is it so different when I look at them? Let's go. Good. I, I, I don't I don't know what's good. It's called uh what? <laughs> Bilfy the fairy? What's called Bilfy the fairy? What are you talking about? It is also because there is magic in all of those pictures. Uh, if you say so. Uh, <laughs> are you throwing your camera away, or what's going on here, man? The student demanded to see a popular s superstar, the letter K. <laughs> a young student, or... See, I'm not sure which of these things to read first, but I'm just going to go from right to left in this case. A young female student decided to kill herself by creating a huge disturbance. Huh. Well, uh... Okay. I mean, killing yourself would probably create a huge disturbance. But... Okay. <laughs> oh, breaking news! There was a suicide near a building in Seoul. Uh, and that's what happened. Gee. Oh, wow. That's an alien. That's not even human. That's... You can't tell me that's not an alien. Tried to persuade the student to stop. Well, she demanded the superstar, a young man. She's obviously an idiotic girl. <laughs> Is she stupid? Who would kill themselves for a famous person? Near the building. Are you an reporter? <laughs> Can you a grammar? Who are you and what are you doing? Besides, I won't be able to record it. Am I going crazy, or... I... Okay, you know what? I'm pretty sure I've been reading this backwards this entire time. <laughs> Who are you, and what are you doing? Are you an reporter? Of course not! Impossible! I just want to... I just want to capture a good story. And it's better to capture the video here. Besides, I won't be able to record anything if I, I wouldn't. This is killing me. I'm dying. I'm dying. I won't be able to record anything if I was down there. That's not how it goes. Ah! Forget it. Call Kim Chi Wu for me. Bring him here, or or I'll just kill myself. Hmm. Please. Hey, can you look at this view for me right now? Uh. 
I don't think the view right now is awesome. It would be great if I captured this. And then he throws her off the building. Tell me your story. I'll record an awesome video of you. With my fingers over the lens. Probably. Maybe. <laughs> and tell that bastard how sad you are. I'm glad we included this panel. This was very necessary. Excuse me. This card is unavailable. <laughs> what? What does that mean? Huh? Really? Then I'll just give it to you in cash. There's the alien. You said it was 20,000 won, right? You, you won 20,000? <laughs> oh no, it's about $520 in US money. How can it be so cheap and cancel my credit cards? I'm not going to give up. But I'm sorry. But <laughs> Why does he have two butts? I'm sorry, but I cannot give you a room if you don't have a guardian with you. <laughs> oh, really? One second. Miss, where are you? Stop talking! I'm about to be homeless if I don't get a place to live, so talk to this person. Yes, I understand. There, can I have my room now? Then take my bags and escort me to my room. Uh, yes. Sure, beside. So we're just sort of jumping scenes for no reason. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. It's so necessary to do this in this order, or whatever. <laughs> I'm getting really irritated with this. <laughs> sure, besides, you're going to know my story sooner or later. I live with a father who's in debt to some gangsters. Because of my father, I started to be lonely, and <laughs> that is when I met him. Excuse me, pretty woman. My name is Kim Shi Wu, and I'm a singer. Can you cheer me on? I need your strength. You're asking me? I bet I created a fandom and started to advertise. I did everything I can for him. Everything I could for him. You're speaking in the past, the past tense. Don't, stop switching on me. Gosh darn it. Close off. Arrgh! Since I became the best singer, I was very happy. But he became the best singer because he created a... F <laughs> she woo me rim. <laughs> wow, that's... <laughs> okay, she woo me rim told me to give this to you. Oh, wow. Why did you accept that again? Tell her to stay away from me. I'm so grossed out her, at her and annoyed. But he betrayed me. How can I live after being betrayed someone I trusted? I, uh, I feel slightly hypocritical after that. <laughs> then jump off the building. Uh -huh. Show him your revenge. I'll definitely take a good video of it. Oh, wow. This guy is a total jerk. Whatever. I'm done talking, so leave. No way. I'm going to take a video of everything. Then you're going to take a video of me killing myself? He, dude, he told you to kill yourself so that you could take a video. No way. Dying. People can't so die so easily. What are you saying? Just because we're strangers? Are you saying those words to me? Are you speaking at me in a language because we are strangers? Is that what you're doing? Miriam, Miriam, it's your dad. Dad? What are you doing? Come down and... Get down and come back.
This is making me worse at talking. Just reading this is making me worse at talking. What if you get hit by those loan sharks? Hurry up and leave. I don't care about that. My daughter is about to die. It's all my fault. Let's leave. Yeah, since your dad is here, everything is going to end. <laughs> what? What is this? It's not your fault. I'm just a bad daughter. <laughs> no, Miriam is not a bad daughter. Wait for me. I'm going to get Miriam. Because... <laughs> no, I'm a bad person. I'm scared when I think that this is the end. I feel like an idiot. Uh, yeah, you know what? Me too. <laughs> You're not an idiot. This kind of stuff happens to everyone. If you want to be reborn... I don't... I, don't you think you should feel what it's like to die? Uh... I'll help you. Then get ready. Action! And then, uh... And then he pulls her off of the top of the building. What?! Uh... Uh... <laughs> That's a bit small for me. Hang on a second. What are you saying? Hang on. Face expression is good, and the angle is good. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, come on. That's a terrible angle. You should be, like, looking down at her while you fall so you can see how close she's getting to the ground. Yeah, whatever. This is all my fault. Because I was talking to this person, I will end up... Alright, I will end up ending my... <laughs> it keeps happening! <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh... That's, that's, no, hang on, this is my face when the, all this grammar, this is... <laughs> and then there's just an airbag, giant airbag. Did you see? They jumped! They're alive! I told you, humans can't. Uh, you idiot! <laughs> ah! You crazy bastard! Ah! Why did you hit me? Why? Are you seriously asking me that question? Why'd you jump, you idiot? Excuse me, what is this? <laughs> you know what? That's... That's something I'm asking myself right now. My family. Well, you can say that I'm its guardian. Oh, that that's his family? He's its guardian? It's a cartoon dog that's more cartooning than these characters. But it's a but a dog is Then let me get out get off. You can't. You're going to get sued for what you just did. As well he should be. Hmm. <laughs> That's a bit sideways. <laughs> Dad, that person, what's really going to happen to him? What do you think? He's obviously going to jail! See, but what he did was amazing. I'm still surprised by it. I feel like he's still right next to me. Miriam, open the window! Ah, he actually is right next to me! You idiot! What are you doing? Big out, get back in the car! Hurry up! What do you want? Here, take it. It's the video of your crazy adventure. Since it's a video of you, I'm going to give this to you. That's a that's a tape. Good grief! When was this? When was this made? People don't actually use tapes anymore, do they? <laughs> Mother, where on earth would that be? What, the building? How can you say that I'm a stranger? I'm Sang Yoon's girl. 
You can't throw me away, mother. <laughs> Shut up! Are you trying to ru Are you- Shut up! Are you trying to ruin saying June's future? <laughs> Yuck! <laughs> Yuck! I love him! You crazy girl! Who do you think you are? Get away from us! Ooh, this is what I call doing a warm-up. It's time for doing some real acting. I should get my emotions all together. I feel lonely doing this all the time. If I was at home, I could have done this with some other people. Well, it's going to be alright. Being this lonely is a piece of artwork for actresses. <laughs> that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> please. Ten more pages, please. No. What? Cali trainees? Is that why you passed him on this second round? Uh, but person from the GED is... It's because that there was... It's because that there is no limit on the degree and... A trainee. <laughs> so annoying. Oh good, another very useful panel. <laughs> and... I don't know what this is trying to convey either, really. Ah! Yuck. Yuck? Is that different from yuck? I'm so confused. Oh no! I'm going to be late for my auditions! That's so annoying. When there is no one to take care of me. Whatever. I should stop acting weak. And start acting. <laughs> Yikes! What time is it? Yo, kid. If you're awake, get out. Really? Can I really leave? Yeah, sure. They said that they aren't going to sue you for some reason. Dad. The person who should really be sued is me. That help that person just helped me. What are you saying? If anybody saw that, they would say that... Think about it. He, <laughs> he never even met before. He never met... ever. Also, he might have lost his life. Uh... How does that make any difference, that person? Let me become a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> that person let me become a butterfly? Uh... I'm assuming you're speaking very metaphorically here. I'm thankful for what he did. Yeah, do you think B-Rim finally understood what I was saying? Don't you think so? <laughs> now, shall we go? Now, shall we go? Yeah, she will opa. Look at us. So idiotic. It's the third floor. Please kill us. <laughs> Please kill me too while you're at it. Kill you. You're crazy, idiots. Gee, woo, I think I heard that name before. Kill me. Yeah, I love you. You're so amazing. I, lo uh, I mean, I love you too. I love you. Hmm. The girl behind. I know her from somewhere. Can it be? Han Yun He? Uh, I'm afraid you'll have to introduce us. <laughs> Excuse me. Please. Sorry, please move. What's your problem? Are you also a fan of Chi Wu? <laughs> what? A fan of Chi. of who? <laughs> of Chi Wu? Of Chi Who? If not, then go away. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Ah, they disappeared. Do you think it's okay for you to just say, I'm sorry? What are you gonna do? You ruined my clothes. Huh? Oh, no. One sec. <laughs> if you wipe it like this... <laughs> That's 
weird. It should come off immediately. Get off. What? Get your hands off me. You perverted bastard. Whoops. Close up, fancy one. Uh, he's on a boat. And that's that. Uh, I also wanted to die. <laughs> Surprise me. March story. It's a story that takes place in March. Things that should not be touched by humans somehow find their way into this world. That's why you should never ever touch anything that is foreign. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, good life lesson there. Uh, evil creatures lurk in fascinating objects. What are you talking about? I'm already confused. I like to think that as I walk sometimes I let my legs take me all over town. <laughs> uh well hang on, wait. Isn't it up to them whether or not you trip over your feet? By this logic? I'm <laughs> I have communications issues with my friends and acquaintances. They tell me it's because I draw manga. Okay, you, I think you need different friends then. Honestly, I would, I, I would criticize you as well, <laughs> but only because I'm a terrible person. That's the only reason. Girl, you really shouldn't have tampered, uh, with something that you were unfamiliar with. <laughs> Okay, I'm still confused. What, uh, okay, let's just... Explanation, please. Huff, huff, huff. I'll blow your house in, right? That's how that goes. I know that story. First of all, you will feel pain. Then again, you deprived this girl of everything she had. I'm just checking to see if I'm reading, reading this in the right order, because I can never ever be sure now. Ever. You even crushed your family and all that. This power. Are you an ill like me? An I-L? <laughs> what? Anal? Are you anal like me? Girl, this page again, but without... Color, <laughs> and then this page again without color again. And then how about I'm okay? You know what? Please just stop. My name is March. I hunt down ills like you. In March. Uh, okay, so <laughs> I have so many questions. <laughs> I am a, uh, a sissy bard. Okay, thanks. The ills, the ill horns on your forehead are stained red with the the human, with the blood of humans. This girl has stopped breathing. Be gone. It. No, it's st st stop. N no, no, earring. I got your earring, Puck, and that killed you somehow. Hmm. You could kill people by stealing their earrings. That way, huh? So the other earring is in the village beyond that hill. I have to find it before someone else does. <laughs> no answers still. 18th, oh good, 18th century, somewhere in Eastern Europe. Okay, I can, I can, yeah, okay. So somebody watched, <laughs> somebody watched, uh, 
the uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> I mean, just from this panel alone, that's. I mean, these series of panels, these, these four. That's what I'm. That's. The, hurry, hurry! It's the Demello Circus. We clowns. The world's greatest circus, read by Linger Master Demello, the commander of laughter and excitement. Clowns. Don't miss the most wonderful show on earth. They always call it. <laughs> not everybody. Sh not every show can be the most wonderful on earth. Somebody has to be wrong. A circus ring full of fun and thrills. Hurry, her eek! She fell on her balls. That's a terrible thing to happen. Ha <laughs> Look, that clown fell down. She's so clumsy. Ha <laughs> ha Oh no. Somebody's laughing at a clown. That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> my, my word. I gotta believe she's Ringmaster DeMello's daughter. That bubbling good for nothing. She can't even juggle properly. The Ringmaster must be so ashamed of her. Indeed. Heh heh. He he. A clown? Who makes people laugh? How horrible. I don't even want to do this. You idiots. I hate clowns anyways. Well, that makes one of us. Papa. Trapeze. Yes, I want to be a trapeze artist. Papa, I want to be... Oh, hey, I called it. <laughs> I want to be a trapeze artist. Being a clown is embarrassing, you know. No, Piccoli. Do you know what the world's most beautiful acrobatics are? No, what are they? Ballet? The ones that make the audience laugh. And you, Piccoli, you're the star of them. It's a lie, a, you big fat liar. You just don't want me to show my real face because I'm awkward and, and clumsy. And that's why I should be on the trapeze, especially without any, you know, yeah, nets or anything like that. I could clearly see how. Uh, I hate you, Papa. Oh, a muffin. Did someone drop it? Yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah, I haven't eaten. Then, let's eat the floor muffin. Excuse me. Uh, 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 m murderous. Ugh. Uh, um, uh, well, I wasn't gonna eat it. Uh. Snatch. Never, ever touch things that are foreign to you. Sometimes things that a human hand shouldn't touch are lying around. Dangerous things. Munch, munch, munch. <laughs> uh, munch, munch, munch. Uh, what's with this boy? <laughs> He turned into a fighting game character. You want to ask me why I'm wearing this outlandish outfit and eating a muffin while yammering away, don't you? Um, I... Yikes! Oh, I love his panty short. Oh, ow, oh, I fell again. Oh, I've had it. <laughs> <laughs> You're the clown from the parade just now, aren't you? <laughs> so embarrassing. Clowns really are something. Someone says, one said, making other people laugh merrily is more worthwhile than forging a thousand swords. By the way, I'm super less creepy right now. Magically. Oh my. Uh, that's this transformation. Well, I suppose so. You're here to watch the circus, aren't you, Mr. Handsome? I like you. You're invited to a free special show. Ha, <laughs> Mr. Handsome. I didn't come to watch the circus. Eh? Then why did you come? I'm an antique hunter. I seek rare antiques. I came here to find a particularly dangerous curio. Uh, curio? Dangerous? Then you have to find it quick. Sounds like a treasure hunting. Count me in. 
I don't really get it, but it's like some kind of treasure, right? What does it look like? That's out of the question, Miss Cloud. It's too dangerous. <laughs> Why is it dangerous? You mean the curio hits people? The curio I'm looking for is an earring called Harry's. It's a very beautiful earring, but humans should never touch it because... There's a dangerous creature that looks in it. A dangerous creature? Yes, yeah, something called an eel. Eels lurk in fascinating objects, always moving from one place to another, hoping to be noticed by a human. They lie in wait for greedy humans to touch them. It's like a cleverly set steel trap. What happens when someone touches an eel? The eel awakes a response to the person's desires. When the two make eye contact, the eel slips into the person's eye. It then torments the victim with constant whispering until the worst person loses all reason. And that's because a human reason acts as a prot protective wall that keeps an ill from completely devaluing of kind of I was doing well. <laughs> D devouring their hearts? Yes. In order to complete itself, an ill robs its host of his or her heart and changes the person into a puppet. Humans who have been completely devoured by ills don't hesitate to hurt others, not even the people they once loved. And that's why you should never touch anything alien. His eyes look so sad. Uh, I won't touch anything alien. Piccolo! Piccoli! Pic... Uh, what are you doing? Hurry up and show... Hurry up, the show is about to start. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I have to go perform. I forgot, he was starting soon. <laughs> hmm. Foolish clown! Hey, that expression doesn't suit you. Don't look so glummy. Cheer up like me. Before you go, I'm, before you go my name isn't Miss Clown, it's Piccoli. What's yours? March. My name is March. <laughs> I don't know. He probably sounds like that. Come and watch my show once you found your treasure. I'll make you laugh your head off. Hurry up with your makeup, Piccoli. Don't take your own sweet time. The show is already starting. Good for nothing. Be quick. Yes, coming. La la la. I'm in a good mood today. Hmm? How pretty. Is it an earring? Dun dun dun. The goal is gonna get eaten. <laughs> Who's gonna be? Should I take a look? You must never touch anything alien. Ah. Uh, that's right. I'll ignore it. Hmm. I'm so tempting, though. Hmm. It's no big deal, right? Trying it on for a minute. It shouldn't hurt. You fool! Right in the eye! <laughs> Hello, Miss Cloud. Uh, from now on, we're friends. <laughs> friends! <laughs> Everybody get ready. The audience will be filling any minute. Big monster. Someone's... there's someone up there. Somebody shine a light on that platform. <laughs> That's... P Piccolo, eh? Piccolo, what are you doing up there? That's too dangerous. Get down this instant. Look, he's telling you to get down. Your own father is ashamed of you. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's four he's. My mistake. <laughs> no! You make me be a clown because you're ashamed of my clumsiness. I can do this, you know. <laughs> That's the spirit, Piccoli. I'll show you. You should show them what you're capable of. <laughs> Piccoli! Get this afternoon quickly! No, 
wouldn't let go of the trapeze. Not until I got there. Next, release the trapeze. Pukole, then they'll have to acknowledge you. <laughs> no, Pukole, please. I'm flying. Pukole, ah! ah! I assume that means... Ringmaster, get a stretcher. Uh, papa. Yes, Piccolo, cry your heart out. Cry so I can consume you. Yes, make it sound more miserable. Sob and cry. <laughs> so this is what it feels like to gain a body. Humans are so simple. This is fun. Ringmaster, hang in there. What are you trying to? What were you trying to pull, Piccolo? The ringmaster. It's your fault. The ringmaster. Mm. How is it my fault? The one you should blame is the clown who desired me. Am I right, you vile human? See? Ah, this is great fun. As a kindness, I'll kill all of you. What's with the horns on her head? That's not Piccolo. Who the devil are you? But I was Piccolo for sure, wasn't it? How the heck? <laughs> Why? Why did you touch it, Piccolo? <laughs> <laughs> Just who are you? This place is off limits to non-staff. That's no longer Piccolo. It's a puppet who's had her heart devoured by an ill. Everybody, please take the injured man outside and get away from here at once. I will try to bring back the real Piccolo. You want to bring him back? <laughs> How ridiculous. Pretty big words for a human. Fine by me. I'll give you the honor for being the first toy I destroy. My, my. What impudence. Newborn ills, nothing, n know nothing of the world. What a pain. What? Do you know? Well, I suppose you still don't know about the existence of humans who pursue ills like you. These humans are hunters who travel around the world to obliterate your kind and recover things. They are called... <laughs> the... Uh, Sized horns. And they got horns too, just like the hills. Is he in control of his ill? How can a human have horns? Huh? So what? I don't care who you are. If you stand in my way, I'll kill you. Hmm. Fragments of the dead spirit, an evil blade made by an ill from the sorrow and the tears of its human host. I will crush it! And no. What? Take this brat. <laughs> Spikes! Juggling thorns! Ah! Who's the toy now? What? What is this? I can't move! The horns on your forehead are white. That means they have not yet been tainted with blood. It's not too late to save Piccolo. Ah! I'm sorry, please! Spare me! I don't want to die! It's high time you left Piccolo's body. <laughs> no! This is the ill obliteration rite. <coughs> and it involves swirls. 
thorns first. No. Ill collection complete. Gurgle, gurgle. Piccoli, hang in there. Piccoli. She's come to. <gasps> Thank goodness. What? A papa, yeah. <laughs> what happened to him? It's all my fault because of me, papa. He. The ringmaster's doing fine. It was a close call, but we managed to get him treated just in time. He's in the hospital, and he has already regained consciousness, I heard. We visited him in the hospital, Piccoli. You must be worried about him. Papa! Our apologies. The last demu At last, the Demulo Circus is ready to start. We'll open with an acrobatic clown act. Now, let the show begin. I'll perform too. If I don't enter the ring this very minute, Papa will definitely tell me. <gasps> I'm... The show is missing its star. I'm a clown too. <laughs> How did she get her makeup on so fast? Making other people laugh merrily is more worthwhile than forging a thousand swords. That's what I said. Things that should not be touched by humans somehow find their way into this world. That's why you should never ever touch anything that is foreign. <laughs> the end. Well, that wasn't completely awful, but at the same time, my throat is killing me. <laughs> so what's next? Eyed soul. Oh my goodness, I have a bad feeling about this. During an investigation, Private Detective Amaki comes across Ko, a man with a mysterious aria about him. A man with strangely sharp perception and eyes that shine like a beast's. Since his meeting with this man, for some reason creatures that are not supposed to inhabit the city keep appearing around Amaki, who is Ko. The author goes all out. Uh, <laughs> A shamanistic fantasy begins? Okay then, author, let's see what happens when you go all out. Before that moment, I never even imagined that something like this could happen. <laughs> you're probably, well, and that's me, you're probably wondering how I got into this situation. They were. They were. Like, a night? What? Drenched in rain? Nights don't get drenched in rain. I mean, <laughs> a deep, deep color, which you can't see because this is black and white. Eyes. Hey, hmm? you're finally awake. Hmm? W where am I? In my cafe. You're pretty good at managing to sleep in a noisy place like this. And we're like twice the size of everyone else, apparently. <laughs> This is not just my imagination, right? <sighs> sleep? Uh, I, why would I? Why would I be asleep right here? Go here. Oh yeah, I'm sure I was working, looking for some. Ah, heroes. H heroes say. Hero <laughs> I'm just gonna say hi, Rose. Okay, just like don't bother me. It's, it's hi, Rose now. And I don't know what that is. It's like food. He's putting food in his mouth. That's my specialty. Avocado plate. <laughs> it's a plate with avocado on it. Good, huh? Eat this and wait a moment. We're a bit busy right now. Those eyes. Good grief. Besides, it's pouring rain outside. We can, we can take our time talking after we've closed up. You'd prefer that, right? I prefer that? What the heck is he talking about? You can't decide that, hey! Ah, you're welcome to seconds. Your stomach growled louder than you snored. He's right. That's my stomach that's growling right now. <laughs> it's so funny that you're hungry. That's funny to me. Go. Could I order? 
Oh, here. Also cool. <laughs> Come here. Hey, Shiro, Az Shiro Ashi. Help with the orders. Okay. Plate B for dessert. But, come, cool. who's that, a friend? Mm, yeah, I suppose. Did his snoring bother you? Sorry, I think he's got it tough at work. Please forgive him. A friend. What does he say? I don't have friends. It is delicious. It's like, he's like a popular host or something. Bastard! <laughs> what? That, that... That's delicious! It was delicious! Who knew? You could make a meal out of a plate with avocado on it. Go. <laughs> Will it be alright with him? We should have tied him up and left him in the... Don't, uh, don't worry, Shiro, uh, Shiro Ashi. Don't worry. Hmm. Suspicious. Oh, yeah. For four days now, I've been... Searching for him. <laughs> Gay! <laughs> Heroes. Ryukun. It's whatever. Ryukun. I understand. Leave it to me. Thank you so much. Amaki, Detective Bureau. Sorry about this, Amaki. The police don't have time to run around looking for a missing kid. But pushing frustrating, boring work like this on you is... No, no, it really helped me a lot. Say... Su... You... <laughs> cool beard... Cool beard senpai. You're always looking after me. Still... Paying off your father's loan? Yeah. Pat. Well, I'll leave it to you then. Let me know if you find him as fast as you can, okay? Yes. I don't know if asking around Harajuka will give me anything more, but... Yeah, why is everyone... Uh, that's, why, that's why everyone like, likes me. You, you. Everyone likes you because you ask around. Huh? And he also had a great body ever since he all... <laughs> this is kidding. <laughs> Please, no. This is... I'm dying. I'm trusting you. <laughs> yes, thank you. I'll be calling within a few days, for sure. That's what he said. But it's already day four, and... Technically, it's more than a few days, I suppose. I've got nothing. Thud. Oh, what's up with you being all alone here? I'm sorry, dog. Thank you, I dropped the leash. No problem. Lick, lick, lick. It gets me right on the mouth. Karen, you like him, don't you? I'm sorry. Ah, it's okay. Ah, by the way, excuse me, but you wouldn't happen to have seen this boy. I'm not sure. There are many kids like this one around here, every day. Yeah, there is, isn't there? Oof! <laughs> what? Oof! <laughs> Oof! Karen, what's wrong? Ruff! Ruff! Eh? Ah! Ah, thank you, Karen. Thanks to your mother, too. That was... It was rough. The dog said so. Oh no, Rain. <laughs> Who are those men? Are they after heroes are you as well? <laughs> Better get out like no, oh, he's getting out a gun. Gosh darn it. A gun? No way, is that real? You're kidding. He even has a silence around. A suppressor, whatever. I have to save. No, I have to notify the police. You idiot, there's no time for that. Bam! <gasps> Something gets shot. Oh no, a wolf. <laughs> it's caught. Did you see that color? <laughs> it's like flop. Thank you. Thank you, flop. <gasps> the dog is that for me as well. I don't even know. Look at that color. It's 
Too late, you know. Um, are we getting into, like, gay werewolf territory here? <laughs> What's going on? These action scenes are terrible. It's just, like, super close-ups and then really weird angled pictures of this scene and, and then you have no idea which way did you go exactly that's what I'm thinking I have no idea where anyone is in relation to anyone else what is this frightening I can see the way <laughs> oh my gosh he walks the path long ago my father used to say hunting a prey <laughs> is that what he used to say? Is that what I'm feeling? <laughs> no, it's more like... No, it's move-like. That's not an R. Move-like something is calling me. That's it. Those eyes. Co, are you alright? <laughs> Arrgh. A human? That's so unusual. <laughs> but... Oh, what is this? What kind of sense is this? It's... It's blush-worthy. Go! Gay werewolves! I knew it! I knew it all along! It's no good! He will hesitate <laughs> and stumble and fall, <laughs> go and slide, and he will out cold. So the gay werewolves didn't get him. He didn't. They didn't turn him into a gay werewolf as well. He must have been really starving. It looks like a completely different person now than the gay werewolf that I saw before. <laughs> Probably because he was naked. <laughs> Why did you bring me here? Because you went and hit your head. Bandaging you up was too much trouble. There were things to talk about and we had to open the cafe. <laughs> so you didn't bandage your head. <laughs> Where's my wallet and cell phone? We stole it. No, just held on to as lost property. There would have been trouble if you had just run off. So I'm being held captive? That's illegal, you know. If we're going to talk like that, you are trespassing. There's not even a, hundred, a thousand yen in this wallet. What are you going to do with all that stuff you ate? Eat and run? I, I thought you could put it on a bill. We don't do bills here. So what are you going to do? Shiroashi, don't bully him. Shiroashi? Yep. Why are you stalking Shiroashi? That's... Uh, and don't tell me it's confidential. Detective Amaki something San. <laughs> Please don't let that actually be his name. Oh no. It's Amaki Teske. Looking through other people's wallets is... It's lost property. Kind of checks who, see whose it is, right? I was, <laughs> I was not going to say. I couldn't tell you. Your parents asked me. Parents? Hi, hi Rose, are you? <laughs> it's you, isn't it? You run away from home. Hmm. Flap. Shiro Ashi. I'm Shiro Ashi. I'm sure it's you. Hmm? Trip, trip. Shiro Ashi. Hey, could you do me a favor? Be quiet. A lot of things are going on. <laughs> I made him cry. How do you make a gay werewolf cry? But I'm paid to do my job. <laughs> as well, many people probably are. <laughs> Besides, they're worried. Your parents, you have to let them know. That you're gay werewolves. You you don't know anything. You don't. Sure, I should calm down. But. Hmm. Well then. 
How about this? I'll hire you as well. Eh? To investigate those parents. I want to know if I can really trust them with his whereabouts. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't have a problem with that, right? If you... You lose nothing. Here's the deposit. And oh yes. You can get all the food you can eat. How does that sound? Today's is on the house. Hmm. That man. He's that childish and supposed to be a detective. Go. Should he really get involved? He's already involved. Probably. But it might be it might get dangerous around here soon. It's my fault, isn't it? <laughs> you don't have to worry, white legs. That's a terrible nickname. I would, I'm just saying right now, if somebody called me White Legs, I would go immediately wear some pants. <laughs> I, want, I want to make you happy. Is that are you feeling sorry for me? I'm. Is that what you're thinking? How can you look at these people and say, yeah, those, those are men? <laughs> this is the most androgynous character I've ever seen. No, no, thank you, Ko. Za. So, you said la nothing last night, and nothing this morning, but you showed up to eat. Mm. No need to make that sorry face. That was the deal. So? Uh, what do you like? What, do you, what don't you like? Uh, ah, I get it. There's nothing I don't like, <laughs> but I especially like your cooking, I suppose. Ooh. Ooh. Or that is, I like the kind of cooking that if food could speak, it would say, ah, this is how I wanted it to end up. Uh, so I didn't mean anything weird. Grin. I don't know whether you're being crude or subtle. <laughs> I think he's being, uh, uh, I think he's being foot in mouth mode. <laughs> Not sure how to say that. <laughs> uh, how you say it in English? Shiro's Shiro Ashi. I've told you to use silent mode when we're, we're open. Oh, I'm sorry. Flip phone. What year was this made in? Good grief. Uh, yes, uh, it's okay. Yeah, yes, I'll be careful. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad everyone can communicate telepathically in manga. <laughs> Who? It's a strange call. I can't tell if he's being overly familiar or respectful. Hmm. What's going on? What happened? To be honest, I went to High Rose RU's address early this morning. White Lang. <laughs> Please stop saying that. RU has run away from home. Yes, this is re. R this is RU Chan. He he's an only child, so. High Rose San is very worried looking for him. <laughs> oh, there he is. High Rose San. But. That was not the couple I met that time. What is going on here? Does the police know? Yes, does the police know that what's going on? Does they know? I want to find out if they does know or not. <laughs> Thanks for helping me out. Of course, when a cute young boy is asking... Uh, Seiki Senpai, the guy with the cool beard. Does he know about this? Maybe. If he knows, is there some sort of situation here? Then, why would he lie to me? What are you running about? Are you, Khan? Look, Shiro Ashi. Don't need the Khan. Besides, it's hard to pronounce. <laughs> I can't say it right. I don't want to say it right. It's just too much effort. Shiro Ashi. 
Why are you here? What's your relationship with Ko? Relationship? Hmm. We have a physical relationship, I guess. Hint, hint. Uh, my face is like the exact exact opposite of this. It's just like it's really tired looking. <laughs> it's like please no more of this. Ah, you're imagining weird things, aren't you? I noticed they use the word weird. And they were use the word weird every time they mean the word gay. <laughs> it's okay to be gay, you know. Not that I would know. <laughs> hey, Chiraraji, where is this order going? Ah, I'll take it. Are you okay? Yeah. See, there's this physical relationship he was just talking about. <laughs> Did you say something to him? He looks... Uh, no, nothing. I'll, I'll be back soon. Uh, Chiraraji. Looks good. Be careful. <laughs> Not in disguise. <laughs> okay. Good grief. Uh, what's going on? Should I who should what should I report? And to whom? Calm down, you have to think, Tosuke. Anyway, I've got to be able to trust Seiki Senpai. With, with the cool beard. Of course, yes. First, I don't know anything about these people. Except that they're gay. <laughs> especially, especially Ko, I don't know anything about him. Except that he's gay. Not even his last name. It might be, no. Just that he's a man with good intentions. Sheltering a boy who's run away from home. Or, I can't even say that. What's with this room? There's nothing here. On the other hand. But, I can't... Say, I think he's a bad person either. I don't feel ill at ease here. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, that's a really good way of putting that. You know what? I don't feel ill at ease here. I wish more people would talk like that. That's actually good. I like that. Hmm. Why is it so diff difficult for me to think he's a bad person? <laughs> Are you trying? Why? <laughs> it doesn't make... Hmm, animal hair? I can, you, you can tell that, oh, whatever. whatever. <laughs> Gasp! Chirashi? Go, help me, they! Oh, well, that's, that's the last page of this chapter. I'm glad it ends on a high note. Help me! They. <laughs> okay, one more before I kill myself. <laughs> that was a joke, by the way. Mr. Pulsewing. From Ignition 1, Baseball, Girls, Gags, and One Big Idiot. That's Mr. Pulsewing for you. The new generation of sports gag manga has been born with the re release of this insane series. So, what are you waiting for? Get to reading. I just have one question before I do. And that, if this is an insane series, what exactly sets it apart from literally everything else that I've read? <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm just well, I'm curious. Oh, is that, is that, is that what sets it apart? Okay, and it's, it's the guy from the first one we did, except You're totally perverted, old man. But, wait, is that the guy filming this who's saying that, or...? But, aren't we supposed to be checking out the clubs? Don't worry. This part... This is part of checking them out. And baseball! And a smug guy who... The exposed man and the girl with glasses. Uh. Is that the girl with glasses? If so, who is the exposed man? 
I almost don't want to find out. Hey, if we're caught, this could be bad. Isn't this a crime? Don't worry, these are pure young ladies. It wouldn't be strange if they were just... If they just hide their breasts and invite us for tea. Oh, you guys, would you like some tea? Oh, yeah, right, like that would happen. <laughs> like, such an understanding girl would exist these days. Oh, that's slightly less uh, gracious than I was thinking. <laughs> well, it's not like we'll get caught anyway. <laughs> and that one's got a crescent sword. And that one's got a bat with nails. And, that one, and she's also got a police rod. Dual wielding. And this one's got a wooden sword. What delinquents use. And she's bandaged. And she's bandaged her wooden sword to her hand. So, y you know, she had time to prepare to do this. So they knew about this. this <laughs> they knew about this happening. <laughs> for a while. They have some evil weapons! Hey, what happened to T? If we don't run, we'll be killed for sure. But wouldn't they go to jail if we got... I won't run. What? You're gonna fight? I'm running. Full betrayal mode. <laughs> Attack! And he beats them up while filming it. Oh no! Yeah, you pervert! Trying to play the victim when you're attacking him with dangerous weapons, huh? So two-faced. Maybe he was right. Come April, the trees begin turning green under the spring sun. Here at June Chi High School, the campus is full of excited students who are new. I miss that word. I've decided to join the soccer club. Oh, then I'll be the manager. Manager is like a girl that brings guys towels and does little things and doesn't actually manage. <laughs> I promise to take you to the national title by bringing you towels and doing little things. Really? <laughs> I'm so happy. S Saruno Amakuni. Why do I have such trouble with these names? <laughs> it makes me feel bad about myself. <laughs> First year class B, 15 years without a girlfriend. <laughs> what a loser, that's only half as much. <laughs> no, I'm not even going to finish that joke. <laughs> all the girls respond to him with all the sincerity. No, seriously, that's, that's rookie numbers. Kids, he's got to pump those numbers up. Everything he does is to get a girlfriend, which is how you know he's a loser. At this moment, his face was that of a man that had accomplished something. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he died during climax. What a pathetic way to die. What was his favorite death chant? You a priest! Oh, you're alive. You bastard! Stop. You'll crack my ass! Um, you're Saruna San from Class B, right? Take this, skinny crew! Mm. Ah! <laughs> hey! It was this girl! He thought out loud. Those are speech. Those are not speech bubbles, right? <laughs> I gave her a go out with me letter earlier. You confess to love again, you idiot! You never give up! Um... <laughs> I'm sorry. I have a boyfriend in the baseball club. Uh... <laughs> hi, hi, hi. So your flower wilted brilliantly again. That's a colorful way to put it. This time, a baseball guy. That's classic. I turned into an old man. What a lovely tea. <laughs> He's suddenly old. <laughs> well, 
You know, you don't even know. It's, what? Sevens on the multiplication table? So, of course, you were dumped. That's, that's the reason why people get dumped. It's because they don't know there's sevens. <laughs> this physically hurts me. Besides, it's not like that the only girl... No, it's not... It's not like that's the only girl in the world. He said one word at a time because that's how that's written. Oh, what a lovely tea. You, you a dying old man? Hate. Huh? I hate high school athletes. Arrgh, I hate sportsmen. Calm down, man. Move back. I got it. I got it. Hey, where are you going? Up above and below. I'm gonna have all the hairs off. No. Idiot, don't. <laughs> this one panel does an amazing job of conveying this entire experience so far. I am impressed. Well, how can you blame him? Even at age 15, he's experiencing a new trauma, and this isn't the first time. In kindergarten, it was Mamiko and a basketball kid. In first grade, it was... Eerie? That's a name? Eerie? <laughs> how do you pronounce that? Eerie and tennis? Grade 2 was soccer. Grade 7 was dodgeball. How do you... Really? Does anyone seriously play dodgeball? <laughs> Grade 4 was volleyball, which is much more serious than dodgeball. Anyway, he's had all the girls he likes taken by sports guys. He, 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 he. So. Currently, our school has 29 clubs in existence. Why was I going to say 27? It's because I'm insane. The one thing all men have tried to solve for eternity. Women. But there's one thing that has been revealed after many years of research. Truth? Girls are... Hot for guys in clubs. I already knew that, that's right. That's right. I'll say one thing, though. I'll pass on the culture club. <laughs> what? It will lower my fresh image, and I don't think it'll make me popular at all. Fresh? What part of you is fresh? Oh, based on uh, Makuni's Kuhn's desires, culture clubs have been ruled out from now on. Those who make unrequested comments will be killed immediately. <laughs> but not on the YouTube video. So, a sports club then. Which one? I don't want to do sports. I'll get all sweaty. Hey, hey. Oh. Hey, hey. And then murder. Oh, he did warn him. <laughs> Jeez. Makes some sense. Do you really want to get girls? Oh, I found a perfect club for you. What? Really? Ha, huh, ha. Huh. <laughs> oh. He said, huh? You've always been strong, right? And the Cooney weightlifting club. Never seen you guys before. Gonna join the club? Huge! He? Really a high schooler student? His muscles are huge! Um, we just came to take a look here. There are no other members? I'm the only one. <laughs> no, 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 there's no hint of girls here at all. Plus, being alone with that monster, that's insane! Don't worry, magic guys like that get a lot of girls. 
Hey, you guys. Come over here and get naked. You can't lift with those clothes. No! So, you're finally ready to join? How about a muscle test then? He's trying to force us to join. Who said we were joining? First, try to lift that. It's an empty bar. <laughs> you can't even lift that? Hey, that's just the bar! Bring it on. <laughs> hey, I'm a Cooney Coon. What are you doing? Oh, hey, I said Coon automatically, but to be fair, it is in his name. You're not gonna live that, are you? Her. Be quiet. I'll lift it. Don't be stupid. That's 120 kilograms. I mean, uh, don't be stupid. <laughs> A weakling like you couldn't lift that an inch. Are you sure you should be saying that? Each and every guy that has picked a fight with me has stolen my girlfriend. <laughs> gain oh, gain confidence. <laughs> Isn't that bad? Arg! <laughs> he lifted it. That's a hundred and twenty kilograms. Idiot. Oh no, I clutched too hard and poop is ha coming out. Should I let it fly? No! Oh, it can't be. Alright, he's gone into all out mode. Nobody can stop him now. Go, Amakuni. <laughs> and then he died. Hmm. Weak. Normally, lifting to your shoulders is only the pre preliminary and from there you lift it above your head. That's the lift and jerk style. But... Um. Oh! Good timing. You can help take this stupid challenger to the nurse's office. Can you? <laughs> and then he died. It's like I'm walking through a golden field. I would have liked to hold hands with a girl and have a picnic. Hmm. What? Are we having a picnic? Are you hurt? No! What sweat? To touch me? Aren't you supposed to? I'm in the middle of this. Huh? But... It's not over. I haven't quit yet. No way. He's gonna try to lift it from that position? Ah! And then his pants fall down. I lifted it for you. Oh, he's a big guy. Stop me. Don't go me this way. Ah! Hurry and let go of the barbell. No, I'll die. Ah! It's in the wall. Yeah. What muscles? <laughs> 120 kilograms is even tough for me. You, please join our club. Um, thanks for earlier. Who's talking? <laughs> if there's a kind manager like this, lifting weights ain't so bad. Well, I have to be going. Uh, hold on, where are you going? Are you the manager here? <laughs> no, not me. Eh? Um, I feel bad. It's heavy. Not a problem. This is nothing for me. But it's horrible to make a single manager go get the weights everyone at the club will be using. It's alright though. It's something I choose to do. <laughs> She's so cute. Hey, say money. Jaggy? Hey, hey, you a horse? I can see right through you, you perverted bastard hypocrite. 
There. Now let's hurry to the field. <laughs> no, that's. But he is. No, don't worry about it. He enjoys that kind of stuff. He gets so strong when it comes to girls. I'm Saruno. I'm a Cooney. They both have Cooney in their names. Oh no, that's him. Gosh darn it. That's how bad I am with names. <laughs> I'm Saruno Coon. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm good at sports. I always get a 10 when 5 is the highest score. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> Baseball. Uh, can I ask a question? Sure. Is this what this is this the sport where the ball is destined to reunite with a bat and fall in love? What? <laughs> what? And he run around with spiked shoes? Could it be that place? I'm the manager of the baseball club. My name is Tori Nagy. I nag people. I knew it. Baseball? No way. Why is Nagy a sin? After the man manager of the baseball club, I've been the shocked in the great Saiyaman saga in Dragon Ball. That reference is lost on me, I'm afraid. <laughs> you don't like baseball? Ah! <laughs> what are you saying? I'm an eternal baseball boy. I'm naked without my uniform. Uh. It seems. I taught Hideki Matsui how to play. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I turned down the majors to enroll here. Uh, what position do you play? Oh, uh, the whole field. Wow, all the positions? Yeah. Well, here I go then. Yeah, bring it on. Not good. I'm saying all this crap. You have know, rarely held a bat. What an original stance. I call it continuous one-legged battling stance. Which is, you know, the most literal name you could have given it. Just watch, I'll blast one over the school. I'm awesome. <laughs> Home run prediction. C could it be? You're challenging the legend? You mean, how a couple will be happy if they confess their love to each other under the legendary tree under gradu after graduation? No, it's a story passed down through the Junishihai Baseball club. That's totally wrong. Over there. Hmm? Since a home run ball hit it 20 years ago, the clock has remained dead. <laughs> yeah, he sure was amazing. I really know anything about baseball. His amazingness was so amazing that uh, Miraki Sen's alma mater is Junishi High School. Could the one who hit the clock be? Yes. They leave it as is to commemorate Murakinakinisi. And since hundreds of baseball club members have challenged Murakinam and a miraculous sand, but they say nobody has hit the ball to the school. Oh my. Legend time. Sounds fun. During his career, miraculous didn't swing to make contact. His heavy swing wasn't concerned about striking out and would even scare the pitcher. Those that would see him swing would show him respect by calling him which was very difficult for most people to pronounce so they rarely ended up referring to him at all. <laughs> Mr. Full Swing! Huh? Uh, eh. Damn it! Oh, it's school. I can't even hit it. Was that a split sinker screwball? That pitch was better than Sasaki's forkball. It was just a fastball. The sound of that swing even reached me. It was like miraculous sand. Oh, uh, so you figured it out. You could actually say that Miraculous Sand copied me. <laughs> I 
after saying that, I better show us something great. Uh, Nagi-san, one more. No more demon balls, though. Uh, yes. But that legend thing is difficult. It's 160 meters to the school. No problem. Ball throwing, go! Twenty years ago, <laughs> with the legendary slugger, miraculous, no hero, Junchi High School, center field is going to you. Won the national title three straight years. How far is it going to go? Clock. The clock. Wow, it hit the clock. But that shining glory had been stopped like the hands on the broken clock, and... And he murdered the ball. It just like... It went into the sun. The stopped clock. At the same 303, coincidentally. Because of one man. And that's not him. That's, that's the girl reacting to him. Will begin to move again. So they're gonna fix the clock because screw that guy. Look at him, he's old news. Saruto said, That's amazing! You really did it over the school! <sighs> That's strange. I planned to blast it to Istanbul. Saruto <laughs> <laughs> said, What's wrong? I hurt my back with that barbell. Eh? N Nagi san, thanks for the memory. Hang in there. Oh, that was the last. Oh, well, that's good. That, that's. That, this is like the only one that I would almost be tempted to keep reading. Like, I'm serious. I'm just gonna try to remember the name Mr. Full Swing because. You know what? Not bad. Not bad. And that, I believe, is all for today. Thank you very much for joining me and see you in the, in the, when I can talk again. Thank you.